Hi guys, this is Ranjit and uh, the Asus Zephyrus G14 laptop was officially launched in India and as you can see guys, I have the higher end variant with me. So in this video, let's have a closer look at the same. This is supposed to be the most powerful 14 inch laptop in the world. And again, as it's a laptop, they have launched it in various variants. And guys, this is a review unit. I actually wanted one of the base uh, what you, uh, variants, but they sent me the highest end variant. Uh, but uh, let me first talk about some of the variants that were launched uh, today. And uh, these are part by the new AMD uh, 4000 series of uh, processors in fact the hs series that is the high performance uh, uh, these actually consume 35 watts of uh, power i mean what's the other video that i made about amd processors to understand uh, about it and they come in three uh, variants uh, one is the ryzen 5 ryzen 7 and even the ryzen 9 which is again the most powerful and the one that i have is the ryzen 9 4900 HS. All are actually HS uh, models. And apart from that, another other thing that you have uh, will be differentiating is the type of graphic card uh, that lab. all have dedicated graphic cards, uh, but uh, some will have the NVIDIA 650. 1650 and the 1650 Ti or uh, they can also have this one what I have the NVIDIA uh, 2060 uh, RTX Max Q card or even the uh, NVIDIA 1660 Ti Max Q. So these are some of the configuration again if you notice the scrolling text over here this is known as an anime screen and uh, it will be available with this or a regular one also. So these are the broad distinctions uh, and uh, again in terms of screen uh, there will be a gaming centric for people that will be a 1080p screen uh, which will have 120 hertz uh, refresh rate great for gamers uh, but there will be also one more variant which one I have this is actually a quad HD that's a 2k screen but again uh, the max refresh on this one is regular 60 hertz. So uh, good thing is that all of them have uh, uh, what do you say adaptive sync and uh, other specs will be the same apart from this so again before we proceed i just wanted to get this very clear and the base variant starts at 80000 the base anime version with this one starts at about 98 <laughs> but the one that i have this is maxed out with everything one terabyte ssd uh, 16 gigabytes uh, again the fastest graphic card that they have this one the maxed out configuration is 162000 uh, so let's have a look at this and it came in this way very big box and I had shot the initial unboxing video so let's first look at that and in the later part of the video I'll tell you the actual performance and what do I feel about this laptop so guys in that big uh, box we got these two so let's quickly have a look at this one this looks like a uh, carrying case that you're getting so let me just open uh, this up yes can open this and uh, has the ROG branding so you're getting this and uh, again we have the ROG branding on this so uh, to carry your laptop this we are getting we have some foam material I'll just keep this to the side so this is what you get and uh, in this box uh, we have the laptop itself the, some of the specs are uh, listed over here this is the top end variant guys that we have but as I told you it starts at about 81,000 this is the higher end I think so I don't know the exact price uh, this is about 1,62,000 and says ROG Ripple of Gamers and this is the laptop it said this one is the, the matrix uh, display so let's just open this up and uh, this is the laptop itself we'll open this up and let's keep it to this side what else do we get there is something in this so let's quickly have a look I'm also curious what do we get oh so it's a booklet about the G series and something I'll just keep that to the side and let's open up this box so we get a power brick and uh, this is actually a 180 watt power brick in the box so let me quickly just open up the laptop and it says ROG Zephyrus G14, the world's most powerful 14 uh, inch gaming laptop. And uh, it's powered by the uh, Ryzen uh, uh, new processor that's 7 nanometer and this is the anime uh, matrix version. It also says that it has a 76 watt hour battery and the model that we have is the quad uh, HD that's uh, 2K display uh, that we have. 
you can also get it in a normal what do you say 1080p display and it also has wi-fi 6 you can also charge it by usb type c and also has dolby audio so guys now i've used this laptop for about five days and i'll share what i feel but first let's have a physical look as i've told you this is the anime version uh, so you get display over here you can set it uh, but if you move towards this side we have a lot of vents for dissipating the heat here is the power brick that will go that's the 180 watt power brick you have a full size hdmi port uh, and uh, you also have a type c port this is also display port 1.4 and you can even charge this laptop with this but again it charges max at 65 watts so if you're gaming and stuff uh, it will continue to use the battery but for regular stuff you can charge it uh, we have the headphone jack and again at the back a lot of vents to dissipate the heat as you can see over here and on this end again we have a couple of vents to dissipate the heat and we have two uh, usb ports and again a type c port but again guys you can't charge the laptop with this one you can only charge the laptop from this uh, one and uh, it weighs uh, about 1.7 kilograms for this anime version if you don't have this anime uh, version it weighs 1.6 kilograms and you can open the laptop easily with a single hand like this so it opens up like this and it also lifts up the laptop a little bit when you open it like this so that is what uh, it is and uh, let me just power this on so here we have it actually has a 14 inch screen and let's just boot uh, this power button also has the embedded fingerprint scanner so if you just press it works and as you can see uh, the bells are pretty uh, thin on the th three sides but bottom we have a thick chin and it says rog zephyrus uh, over here we also uh, uh, get uh, what do you say uh, the keyboard is backlit but i feel the backlighting is not that great at least on this color uh, even at the maximum it's not that great uh, but anyways the keys are actually very good on this one reminds me of old good uh, what do you say keyboards the key travel is also there so uh, it was very good for actually typing and i could type actually very fast on this one coming to the build the build quality is really good it's a magnesium alloy they use so it's not plastic guys and the build quality is very good it doesn't have any flex or anything and uh, if you notice over here uh, as I've told you, this is the high-end variant, comes with the Ryzen 9 uh, 4900 HS. And if you notice these two, these two are actually the tweeters. It's a 0 0.07 tweeters over here. And if I go towards the back, uh, here are the two main speakers. It's a 2.5 watt speaker that you are getting. And it comes with Windows uh, 10 Home guys, uh, pre-installed and uh, also uh, what do you say office was pre-installed it's the office 365 uh, student edition and all this thing so it's a uh, what do you say a uh, fully licensed one this won't expire so you have all these things so you have to agree to this and as you can see it works uh, moving to one uh, good thing is that in all models uh, the screen that you're going to get is a uh, what do you say 14 inch screen uh, but it will be 1080p if it's a 1080p uh, it's mostly aimed towards gamers it's 120 hertz this is the higher end 2k screen if i go to display settings uh, this one is the 2k screen as you can see uh, but this uh, is maxed out at 60 hertz i think so this is catered for people who do light gaming uh, but are more into content work and need a very powerful uh, laptop and coming to the power uh, let me actually show you one of the most powerful and again it says uh, this is the world's most powerful 14 inch gaming laptop and definitely i ran some benchmarks uh, i also do a play around with the uh, 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 resolve video editing was great on this one let me first fire up cpu z to show you the configuration that we have again guys this is the highest end variant that uh, we are having and uh, this comes with uh, windows home 10 and as you can see it's the amd ryzen 9 4900hs and this is an 8 core 16 uh, thread that we are getting and if we go to the main board again it's made by asos uh, memory uh, uh, we get 16 gigabytes of uh, ram and it's ddr4 it's a dual channel and uh, it's a uh, 3200 uh, megahertz speed uh, that we are getting as you can see and uh, the graphics on this uh, specific variant is the nvidia uh, rtx 2060 max q graphic card that you are getting again as you can see it's the rtx i believe you can also get it in 1660 ti variant if you want and the uh, what do you say memory for the graphic card is six gigabytes that we are getting so top of the line specs uh, that you can uh, assume we are getting and i ran some benchmarks let me actually show you the benchmark scores and uh, this was the 
Sydney uh, Bench R15 and just notice the scores uh, the open GL 102 that we are getting and just notice the CPU scores guys just wanted to point you out to this one 1770 I haven't seen this high scores on a laptop uh, generally even if I get about 500 600 score on the CPU we say those are actually good scores you have just noticed the score it's 1770 uh, and again as you can see this is the RTX 2060 that we are having and to just compare this one uh, to give you an idea what is what the score means uh, let me have I generally store all the benchmark scores on this uh, drive and uh, AMD benchmark Cine bench R15 score for other laptops. For example, uh, if you recall the me uh, laptop that had the Core i7 uh, 10th generation one, I had uh, what do you say? Run the benchmarks on that, uh, and as you can see, we got a CPU score of just 616. This is for the Intel i7 10th generation. That's the latest one. Uh, and here as you can see the score massive difference i even ran it for my uh, acer swift 5 that has the core i5 uh, 10th generation that's the latest let's open that one and here as you can see we got a score of just 490 on the core i5 and uh, just imagine the power that this uh, laptop has. again i also had the uh, ryzen 7 4700u laptop uh, one of them and i had run the benchmarks and here on that we got a score of 1082 so again as you can see one of the fastest cpu performance that we are getting on uh, this laptop so blazingly fast performance that you can expect on this one and i also ran some other benchmark for example i also ran uh what was that yeah uh geekbench 5 and these are the scores that we got for Geekbench 5. Just notice the multi-core score that we are getting. Again, amazing results. In terms of the raw horsepower that this laptop has, it's actually amazing. I also ran Crystal Disk Mark. I was just running. And this is for the SSD. Uh, this one is having a one terabyte SSD. And as you can see, we are getting a score of uh, about 1.8 gigabytes. Not the fastest that I've seen, but again, uh, decent, respectable scores that we are getting even SSD. And again, it boots windows and stuff very quickly. Uh, so these are some of the scores uh, that I noticed regarding benchmark and I actually wanted the lower end variant uh, but uh, the ASUS guys sent me this review on it so I asked them to send me some of the benchmark scores for the uh, Zephyrus G14 uh, that uh, that is the Ryzen 5 with 4600 HS and uh, if we look at it payment is giving me up and here as you can see let me maximize this uh, we got a score of 1376 so even the ryzen 5 hs that we have is getting some pretty good scores but again if you want the max yeah this one is this and the geekbench also they sent me the scores for geekbench to just give you an idea that is uh, 1100 and for multi core 5164 again very respectable scores even for the uh, ryzen 5 4600 hs that is available uh, uh, that is for uh, like uh, around 98000 i think so this model what they have sent me the benchmarks so again very respectable benchmarks and again it's a treat uh, for doing heavy tasks for example video editing and uh, of course i did some gaming even with this one i played overwatch and as you can see i we got some very good results with overwatch again uh, this is the 60 hertz screen so it was maxing it out obviously frame rates on the left on top you can see it was just going over 60 but again if you are a gamer i think so you should go with the uh, 1080p 120 hertz uh, screen and by the way on overwatch i was keeping these graphics were set to ultra and again ultra also we did not have any issues coming to the screen guys the screen is good we don't have any problems of viewing angles or anything on this one and it's a good screen it's actually having srgb 100 percent and it's also pantone validated so again good for color work also and uh, again the speakers let me show you uh, give you an idea the speakers are good uh, this is my acer uh, laptop uh, acer uh, and just to give you an idea i'm just going to play the same soundtrack on both these laptops so that you have an idea about uh, the speaker and this laptop has an average speaker that generally you find on most windows machines so this is the audio output we are getting from this laptop as you saw now i'm just going to play the same track 
Oh, I'll just keep the laptop here and let's bring this one and uh, let's play the same track on this one. I don't want to maximize the volume. So certainly the speakers are a lot better on this one and certainly I would say much better than most of the Windows laptops that uh, we have seen. And again, because it also has these dedicated tweeters, uh, you get that effect. The uh, dialogue delivery, etc. also is very good. I was watching some movies on this uh, and the performance is good. One thing to note is that when you get this laptop's guides and uh, uh, when the power is plugged in by default, it tries to actually go into this. This is the... F5 button right now it's in silent and performance but if it's plugged in it can also go into the turbo mode and when it's in the turbo mode the fan noise is quite a bit it actually tries to overclock it so again be aware of that in regular usage I would say just keep it into the silent or in performance in silent uh, it tries to save the battery life also and uh, uh, lowers the screen a little bit uh, but I'm, when I was using it in silent mode as you can see so many tabs were running everything doing my task uh, or anything uh, the fan noise never irritated me so that is something you have to note but again when you're doing gaming and stuff again go to the power mode and move it to the performance to get the best results yep, if it's you are on the battery too. again the speakers are loud I would say uh, you also have a dedicated button over here the armory crate and uh, here you can customize uh, the gaming profiles you want as you can see the silent uh, uh, what you want the performance the turbo will only kick in when you plug in the power but here you can customize what you want and also this model has that anime matrix as I've told you this you can display stuff over here so you can actually display uh, stuff you can write to what you want and regarding bloatware uh, not a lot of bloatware uh, one antivirus was uh, pre-installed McAfee I uninstalled it and apart from that this armory crate is there which is a useful app so I did not find a lot of other bloatware and as I've told you regarding software uh, we had the Microsoft uh, 365 student edition pre-installed on this and this is a lifetime license on the laptop so what do i feel about this uh, laptop and guys uh, let's quickly just break it down between the pros and cons as you know it's a very good uh, laptop very powerful but there are some few cons that i've noticed let's go over them first and the first thing is that regarding the keyboard it's backlit uh, but as i've shown you uh, the backlighting is just white and it's weak so i feel that's one of the weakest thing in fact i was using it mostly without the backlit because the backlighting on this at least on the silver color with that white one simply does not look that good uh, the second thing is the i am happy that the type c port we can charge it but the charging speed max is just 65 watts so if you're doing some heavy task like gaming or even doing some uh, rendering and stuff uh, uh, that 65 watt is not enough for this so it will uh, still consume the uh, power from the battery if you're doing heavy tasks so again you'll have to use the power brick that is supplied that 180 uh, watt power brick while doing heavy gaming or doing heavy tasks like video rendering etc and uh, also uh, this is a small nitpicking i would say both the uh, usb type a ports are on this side one of them should have been on uh, this side uh, so that's uh, one of the nitpicking but apart from that when it comes to the pros amazing performance one of the fastest laptop in a 14 inch form factor and i would say uh, it's great even for gaming uh, because generally what we have noticed is that gaming laptops are actually very very heavy but this one uh, is about 1.6 uh, to about 1.7 kilograms based on the configuration that you have so it's not super heavy so you can carry it with you and also uh, another thing is that generally in uh, what do you say gaming laptops the battery life is not that great but on this one the battery life was surprisingly very good uh, if you're doing just regular stuff like browsing uh, doing office work and all you can get as high as about nine hours and in terms of mixed usage we're doing a little bit of gaming and stuff then also i was getting about five to five and a half hours of battery life so battery life is good so again it's a rare combination of 
what do you say portability and power which is generally not found on uh, laptops and also I feel uh, this is a laptop not only for gamers but if you are also into content creation for example I for me the, my main use of a laptop is for doing heavy tasks like video editing and stuff uh, if you are that kind of a person also you need that raw horse power then also this is a very good laptop anyways what do you guys think about this asus zephyrus g14 laptop uh, it's uh, going to be sold in india via amazon i'll leave the links below anyways guys uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys